Hello, it's Wednesday, August 26. I'm Keenan Smith. Four people have been killed in a fiery crash in St. Clair County. Michigan State Police say the victims of three men and a woman. This happened around 4 p.m. Tuesday in Cottrellville Township. So far, the victims haven't been identified, and there's no word on what caused the crash. Now, East Point police are looking for a man accused of peeping into the window of an 11 year old girl while she was sleeping. This happened Monday morning in the area of Redmond and Lincoln. Investigators say it's one of three recent reports of a guy looking into people's homes. And the Biden campaign is putting the spotlight on Michigan today. Vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris will be speaking at a roundtable focused on mobilizing voters. Now, during the roundtable, Harris is expected to announce a new nationwide voter engagement program. Women leaders from across Michigan will take part, and they'll have a chance to ask Harris what the Biden-Harris agenda will do for black voters and black women specifically. The roundtable will take place today at 3 p.m. on all of Essence's platforms. And a missing boy who has autism has been found safe. He's Marquise Tolbert of East Point. His family was concerned because Marquise left the home with someone in a black pickup truck that caused police to put out an advisory. But again, Marquise has been found safe. That advisory has been lifted, but investigators are still looking into Marquise's disappearance. After a lot of morning rain, we dry out later today, but it's going to be hot and it's going to be real humid late today, tonight and tomorrow. High of 88 today. Temperatures stay in the 70s overnight. 92 tomorrow. It's going to feel like it's in the mid 90s. Pop up afternoon storms, often on rain Friday through Saturday morning.